Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and I am back with an update for you on my 16 before 2016 challenge. So I'm going to go through each item, tell you whether or not I completed it, um, if I did, kind of how I did it and if I didn't, why I didn't. Spoiler alert, I didn't complete all of them. <laughs> and then just share some thoughts with you about how I found it and what I learned from it and just some observations that I have. So let's crack on, shall we? The first item on the list was to get my rental house painted. And <laughs> this was kind of a half tick, I would say. I had organized for my father to paint the house for me on December 27th and he completely forgot <laughs> what with Christmas and everything. So that had to be pushed back a few days. So it actually didn't fully get completed before the new year. Um, but about half of it got done before the new year and then the second half got done on the 2nd of January. So I'm gonna call that a half win on that one. The second was to finish the Marie method and <laughs> hallelujah, I did it. <laughs> I finished the final category which is mementos about a week or two before Christmas. I vlogged it so if you want to check that out I will have the link in the description box below. You will see how tough I found it and um, it was really a, a massive struggle for me but I did it because it was on my list and I was doing it one way or another. I was getting it done before Christmas. I wanted to clear out as much junk from the house as I could before Christmas and before the new onslaught of stuff came in. So I did it. I do plan on redoing it in 2016, but for now, I'm calling it done. So kudos to me. The third was to create 2016 goals in detail with action plans. I have done this. If you'd like to hear what they are, let me know in the comments below. I can certainly record another video on those, but I wrote down my resolutions for 2016. I know that's a word a lot of people are allergic to, but I love resolutions. I really love setting goals for myself. So I wrote down my resolutions and then I broke them down into small steps that I can follow so they're not big giant goals that seem very daunting and overwhelming. I just look to see what the next step is, what I have to do and when I have to do it by because I put in little deadlines in there as well. What I've also done is kind of spread them out throughout the year. So it's not like I'm trying to get everything done in January or everything started in January. I've got a few things I want to start in January, a few things in February, a few things in March, etc. So yes, I have done that. Woohoo! Four was to get my hair cut. Tick. Five was to get back down to 54 kilos. No, no I did not. Six was to exercise for 30 minutes three times a week. Also a big fat no. <laughs> but I have literally, just before recording this video, I have just come back from the gym that I have just joined. I know a lot of people joined gyms in January and it was rammed, the place was crammed full of people. But <laughs> They do classes and I need a class. I need to go to a class. I won't go to a gym and work out. That's not me. I will definitely go to a class though and have pretty much attended various classes all throughout my life. So I'm there for the classes. I'm going to go to the classes. So these may be ticked off pretty soon, but before 2016, no. Before 2017, maybe. Number seven was to pitch at least one guest poster article. Again, this was a no-go. I didn't do it. Um, I was pretty busy with the Marie method, with Christmas, with just trying to clear up a lot of other stuff. Um, it just it just didn't happen. So, uh, but it's still it's still on my list of things to do. So I really hope that I can do that. If not this month, then certainly next month. So fingers crossed for that one. Eight was to get up early every now and again. Um, <laughs> mm. <laughs> I did get up early a handful of times, um, but I am a night owl. I just, I thrive in the night time. I feel most motivated at night time. I get more done at night time and it has been that way throughout my life. I guess the intention behind this goal was just to have some quiet time for me um, without my family around. 
so just so that I could get some stuff done maybe some housework or some writing or whatever and that was the intention behind it so what I did instead was I started going to bed later because I'm a night owl so I did manage to get a lot of work done by doing that um, days where I did wake up a little bit earlier I either got up but generally what I did was I stayed in bed to read for a while so I guess the intention was fulfilled even if the kind of specific goal itself wasn't really achieved. Nine was to brainstorm merchandise to sell and the word merchandise there was just all wrong it makes it sound so like stick my name on a lunchbox sort of thing uh, that wasn't my intention with that what I meant by that was just to come up with a great product or service and um, that I could provide to my readers and my viewers so I do have a few ideas kicking around my brain for that they're top secret at the minute but I do plan on launching one of those by the end of March that is one of my resolutions so I <laughs> let's just see shall we 10 was to eat a cleaner diet um lower in carbs i eat a massive amount of carbs and i'm not really sure why i just i think if you're irish you're brought up on carbs you're brought up on potatoes and bread <laughs> that is it so i've noticed that a lot of my meals are very heavily carb based um, breakfast lunch dinner snacks are all pretty much carbs so I tried a little bit, but I, I didn't know. I, did, I didn't do it, <laughs> basically. Um, but I really need to look into that now, and I really need to kind of change my habits a little bit because I am carb loading like a mad thing. The digestive biscuits, they are my downfall. 11 was to draft an outline for a How to Get Your Shit Together course. Um, I wasn't sure at the time whether I meant like an actual physical course that I would teach or an e-course that I could provide to people. Um, I think I'm probably veering more towards e-course because of my crippling introvertedness. <laughs> but the drafting thing, I have drafted it in my head. <laughs> if, that, if that counts. Um, if it does, then yes, tick. <laughs> 12 was to start a newsletter. <laughs> Finally, just a big yes on that one. Um, no ifs or buts or any sort of qualifications or anything, no exceptions. I started a newsletter. If you have subscribed, you've already gotten my first newsletter. So if you want to subscribe, head on over to the website. It's how to get your shit together, how to gyst.com. It'll be written down here somewhere. Um, and in the menu, you will see the button for subscribe. So subscribe to that. There's some amazing content coming for you. So subscribers will get kind of sneak peeks at upcoming products and services that I'm going to be offering. They get some freebies like worksheets, um, like just checklists, things like that. So you definitely want to sign up for that so you don't miss out on those. 13 was to buy an external microphone that I could use for recording YouTube videos. This one was kind of, I'm gonna say it was a tick. Yeah, I'm gonna say I did this one <laughs> because instead of actually buying an external microphone um, to improve the sound quality, I just bought a better camera. So <laughs> hopefully you have noticed that the picture quality has improved and also the sound quality. So again, the intention behind the goal was just to improve sound quality, not necessarily to buy an external. That was just the way I was going to achieve that, um, but achieved it a different way instead. So 14 was to buy new underwear. Honestly, it is very difficult to buy decent underwear that fits properly. I don't know if you have this problem. I have this problem. I went to several different shops. I tried on lots. Nothing fit me properly um, and if it did I didn't like it. So I eventually went to a place that do fittings and they told me that they have now changed their policy. It's now appointment only and I didn't have time to hang around till their next available appointment which was like an hour and a half away. So no i didn't but i did i really tried on that one i really did try but it's a priority for 2016 put it that way 15 was to finish reading all current books and again this one is a yes woohoo 
I read all of the books that were on my list. There were four at the time. So there was The Martian, which I finished. There was Big Magic. It was David Allen's Getting Things Done. And there was some other book. I have it written here somewhere in my bullet journal. 2016, Your Best Year by Lisa Jacobs. Yes, that's the one. All four of those read, done and dusted. And the final item was to switch off more or to reduce screen time. I guess this was probably a bit of a silly one to put on because it's like when you make a resolution to do more of something. You first have to know how much of it you're doing in order to know if you're doing more. So with me, I had to know previously how much screen time I had per day to know whether or not I had reduced. I'd like to say I have reduced ever so slightly, but honestly, if I did, it wasn't really noticeable. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that in 2016 as well. Oh well. So that is my list. Some wins and some fails or lessons learned and some gray areas. But I just want to talk about the kind of things that I noticed while I was doing it just very briefly. And the big one was the intention behind the goal was really, really important. There were a few things on it where I had written something down, but it wasn't my intention. So like with buying the external microphone, my intention was actually to improve the quality of sound. Um, so I should have written that down um, as my goal, you know, improve sound quality in my YouTube videos rather than buy an external microphone. Um, because I did achieve that, but I achieved it in a different way than I had written down. So if you're going to be doing a similar list, you know, a list of things that you want to achieve, think about the intention behind them, why you want to do it, and then look at what you've written down. And is there another way that you could achieve it? Maybe you could do several, you could try several different things to achieve it, but look at what you want to achieve and think, is there another way that you could achieve it? Is there another way you can go about it? And write that down too. Give yourself options. And then the other thing I noticed was that with the goals that required, not required, but the goals for things that I would normally kind of sit down and savor and enjoy, like reading. So reading those four books, the first three I went through fine. And then the fourth one, which was getting things done, I really felt the pressure to finish it. So I kind of flew through it and I won't say that I didn't enjoy it. I really loved the book. This is my second time reading it but I didn't give myself enough time to really absorb all the information in it. So I think I'm going to have to reread it yet again in 2016. So things like that, think about the things that you really enjoy doing and that you want to spend time doing. And those things maybe don't put them on a list with a very strict deadline, because for me, I love reading, you know, I really enjoy it, but I like to sit down and take my time at it. I say that now, I've actually set a resolution for myself to read two books a month in 2016. <laughs> Maybe I didn't pick the right book because getting things done, if you've read it, it does require a lot of attention and mental energy. There's a lot of information in it and a lot of stuff that you're supposed to extract and then, you know, implement in your own life. So that probably wasn't the best book to pick for there. Had it been a fiction book or something like that, probably could have flown through that no problem but this book just required a little bit more attention from me but that is everything that is the update on my 16 before 2016 list um not a complete success but not a complete failure either so i'm gonna call that a win overall if you're going to be doing a similar list because i know i've seen some people now who have 16 for 2016 lists so 16 things that they want to do in 2016. I hope maybe you have learned something from this video, just in terms of thinking about the intention behind your goal, why you want to do it, and then really focusing on that, and then using that to kind of brainstorm all of the different ways you could achieve that rather than limiting yourself to one. And also be very mindful of the things that you savor, the things that will take a little bit more time, require a little bit more attention, and maybe don't stick those on such a tight deadline. 
I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've now started vlogging my life as well. Just kind of some daily things. I, so far I have been doing it every single day, but the novelty will wear off very quickly and I will go back to kind of a pretty flexible schedule on that. But I just want to take you on my journey through 2016 because I have a lot of great things planned. It's a lot of amazing and terrifying things going to be happening this year so i really hope that you'll follow the journey along with me i will still have all my regular thursday videos for you so you can subscribe either because you want to see my vlogs or you can subscribe because you want to see my thursday videos where i give you tips and ideas for improving your life and just making things easier so that you can focus on the things that really matter to you Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you're having a great 2016 so far and together we can make it really amazing. So please do stick around. We'll see you soon. Bye.